Okay boys and girls, today we have already learned about some of the shapes, how to identify geometric and organic shapes. Today we are going to go to Africa with our imaginations and we are actually going to draw a underwater hippo. So you're going to have your paper portrait and we're going to use oil pastels first. And the very first thing that we're going to do is draw a water line. So taking um, a coloured pastel, two thirds of the way up on your paper, draw a water line, it can be straight or it can be wavy just like this one here. Now I will give you a guided script and a handout with an example on it, but this is going to help you. We can do this step by step together or we can um, follow the guide and do it by ourselves. Either way we will have a beautiful artwork at the very end. First thing that we're going to do below the water line is actually we're going to draw sort of like a rounded oblong rectangular shape and we're just going to do it about this size okay and this is actually the start of the hippo's nose all right and i'm just going to do a nice bold line remember that what we're going to do is we're going to draw with the oil pastels do some coloring in with the oil pastels and then we're going to do a watercolor wash over it now we've got our nose in place next thing we're going to go below and we're going to draw a bit of a pancake shape and i'm going to take another color and just going to go right underneath and draw a smaller like a pancake okay and that's the bottom of his lip or her lips now next thing we're going to draw two nostrils and they are semicircles semicircles are two half circles so i'm going to go like that and like that i'm going to close it in with a bit of a curve close it in and just go like that and like that now you can use whatever colors that you want next thing we're going to do is above the waterline I'm going to add two eyeballs and what we're going to do is we're going to draw two curves and I'm going to do a curve like this do you see where I placed them and a curve here now your handout will actually show you as well as to where to place them too now they're like um, rainbow curves now what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a line underneath which is a bit like a smile a very soft smile there we are and then inside I'm going to do another rainbow curve and another rainbow curve. Now within those eyes I'm going to put in the eyeballs. So I'm going to go, I'm actually going to use a dark black and I'm going to do a circle but I'm not going to colour it all in. I'm going to leave a little bit of white so it looks like the light is reflecting in the eyes there. Do you see? So I've got that done. Next thing I'm going to draw is two arcs actually sorry i'm going to draw the top of the oblong head to the head now so i'm just going to take a blue for a change and i'm going to go up like this i'm going to bounce over the eye and i'm going to go up like this and bounce over the eye and i'm going to join it like that i'm just going to create a bit of a curve now we need ears i'm going to change my oil pastel out again and how i'm going to do the ears i'm going to do a straight line and a straight line and then I'm going to do a curve and a curve and there are the ears that they like to flap around when they're in the water now the next thing I'm going to do is the bridge for the nose so I'm going to do an upside down U I'm going to bring it up curve it round and bring it down again okay and there is the bridge of the nose now I want to do the body now the body's nice and round and I'm going to get another color and I'm going to just start at the top just above the eye and I'm going to bring it round but I'm going to bring it curved around it's a bit like a an overly rectangle unusual organic shape bring it round like that but not all the way down to the bottom I'm going to curve and there next thing I'm going to draw two either curved, not curved, but slanted lines or two vertical lines. I prefer to have mine slanted like that. I'm going to do a bit of a smile, a bit of a smile, and then I'm going to add some toenails. One, two, three. One, two, three. But I also want to add a pair of legs at the back as well. I'm going to go with a slightly darker colour, and I'm going to bring a line here and there see I haven't brought it all the way down to the bottom I've brought it to the side here and it's slightly shorter than the front leg okay so now we're showing that the hippo has a pair of legs at the front and a pair of legs at the back 
Now what we're going to do is start applying colour. So I want to show you two different ones that are finished with just the colouring. Okay, so that's your drawing, that's your line drawing. This one, if I show you here, all coloured in. Now with this one, I kept changing the colours because I was trying to be more traditional with the hippo colour. But when I got to the body that was underneath, I put my chalk or my oil pastel to the side and I rubbed it so I got more of a grainy texture because I really want the watercolour wash to catch it. The other one is where we actually did a, a grainy rub all around and also drew in details on the base with rocks and the ground and drew in some fish. Now you can draw in fish and you can also go to the collage box and create your own collage fish as well. Okay, so if you want to do both, that's your option. And then what we're going to do is our wash now. But we haven't finished yet because we're going to do what's called collaging. So very quickly, I'm going to just do a quick wash so that you can see. This is called resist. So I'm going to add a wash. And the thing is, you can go completely over your drawing that's in oil pastel. And what it does is it just catches the areas that the oil pastel didn't grab. And I'm just going to wash, wash, wash. I'm going to give you liquid watercolours. I'm actually working out of a palette today. But the liquid watercolours are going to be so much more vibrant for you. And I'm just going to give you two colours. One for the sky. And one for the water. And who knows, maybe we might use that glittery one. That stuff's really cool. Now I'm going to do the water. I'm going to make the water more sort of like green. Bring it down. And wash but I also want to wash over him. And then you can see when I wash over him, it actually catches where the oil pastel didn't grab him, okay? So I'm just going to quickly go over him there. And there we are. Now the next thing, I'm going to put some wash down here as well. You're going to do a far better job than me. I'm going very fast because of the video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some tissue paper and we're going to collage. And remember what collage is, is that we're taking paper and found objects. And this tissue paper is actually something that was given to me as a present. So it's actually going to be repurposed. So I'm going to stick my fish down here. Now, if we can just grab my tissue paper. And we're going to tear it. So I've got lots of different colours there. I'm just going to tear it into strips. Now I've got a strip here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it. Okay. Twist, 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 twist. And what we're going to do is we're going to create reeds. Now I'm actually going to double that one up. So that when we've got our hippo under the water, is actually in the reeds as well. And I'm going to give us some white glue so that we can stick it down. I'll just grab my glue. And I'm going to stick it down there. I'm just going to give myself a glue line. And then just place my tissue paper there. I've got some nice glue. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm just going to twist and twist and twist and twist. And I've got another one there. I'm just going to put it up the side there. It's up to you where you want to place it. I don't want to completely cover my hippo, but I want to have him that he's in a nice environment. So now we're adding, along with shapes, we're actually adding texture as well. I'm just going to add a bit of glue on the back of these and then with my oil pastels I'll actually be able to finish off these fish and put some details on them to show you guys at the very very end how cool they look all right give them a little eye give this one a little eye so they can see where they're going and boys and girls now it's your turn to make your own underwater hippo using shapes texture and resist painting technique Go and have some fun. Let's make some art.